Two weeks away from the finale, yeah. top five. What's the best advice you have for the final five contestants, and who do you think is like the one to beat right now? You know, I think for the top five, at this point, enjoy it. At this point, enjoy it. You made top five. Um, you're getting you're getting the best exposure you could ever the best exposure you could ever uh, wish and want for and um, I think you just get have to get up there and have fun and pick some songs that really allow you to continue to connect. Um, I think it's interesting, you know, a lot of a lot of the fans that are voting they probably already fit, picked their favorites, and you know I think it's going to be a tight race. Um, when I look at the way Noah is able to really just humbly connect. I think America really loves those stories. Um, but I think it's anybody's game. I really do. I mean, everybody um, everybody in that top five has their strong, has their things that really make them stand out. So we, we will see. But I think Noah might, might be my front runner right now. I, I kind of agree with you there. <laughs> I do. I kind of agree. Now, Mother's Day, of course. How did you and the kids celebrate Caroline today? Well, obviously, I'm out here, and uh, the boys, uh, my wife and I, my, my niece, Jordan, um, she had a, a baby uh, yesterday. So my niece, Jordan, is a brand-new mother, and um, their little boy came a little early, and so it was a surprise. So we, uh, Caroline and I gathered our stuff up and went down to South Georgia and saw him and then so the boys stayed in Nashville so I'm sure they were FaceTime and then calling their mom but then I go back to Georgia tomorrow and uh, so we had a pretty good Mother's Day we had a, uh, a really beautiful addition to our family that's beautiful that's yeah. amazing now Katie is like the pseudo mom of the show did you guys do anything to celebrate her well you know Katie uh, we're she's going out I mean I saw her and her mother backstage they're going out to dinner um, and I, you know, but I, you know, watching Katie, you know, watching Katie be Katie before motherhood in the first couple of years of Idol, now the last two, just watching her. I mean, she's even more connected and emotionally connected, certainly on the stories tonight. And uh, just watching her grow into motherhood and being her friend on the show and being her coworker, she's just really uh, just a wonderful mother. I mean, every break, it, you know, when the cameras are off, she's FaceTiming, you know, Orlando and Daisy, and she's just, you know, she's just being a, being a beautiful, amazing mother. Yeah, very nice. Last question. Next week, we are going to do our own shows over in New York. And so we're asking everybody, when you go to New York, hard-hitting journalism here, what is the number one food item you have to get? What oh. place do you go to? Like, when someone's going to New York, what do you say? You have to go here, and you have to get this item. Oh, gosh, for years. It used to be a Junior's cheesecake, but you know, it was back when I was a little early, you know, a little younger. I, I think I could burn the cheesecake off a little better. But I always got to find some good Italian food in uh, in New York. My one Italian spot, we have one go-to, and uh, I think the lease ran out and it, it, it and they had to move or whatever. It, but uh, but you know it's been a couple years since we've actively gone to New York a lot, so kind of have to see how the places come out of the other end of the pandemic. But uh, Junior's Cheesecake was was a biggie. Um, gosh, here, but Italian, a good Italian is what I'm always looking for.